Hey guys, it's Adam here. So this morning I opened up um, my news app and seen where um, China has banned um, cryptocurrencies. In fact, the article reads, China's central bank says all cryptocurrency related activities are illegal and vows harsh crackdown. So of course, all crypto has taken a huge dip this morning. Um, Bitcoins fell, Ethereum's fell, Dogecoins fell. Um, but if we take a look at the chart, and, and one thing I, I want to like address is this isn't the first time that China has cracked down on cryptocurrency. And we bounced back after that. And I believe that the world is going towards um, a, a cryptocurrency type of deal. You know, um, it's not very regulated right now, at least in most countries. However, there's a lot of countries that are adopting crypto. And then there's countries like China that are completely against it. And I'm not really sure why they're against it. Um, I haven't dug that deep into it. However, I think that in the future, um, crypto will be probably the main currency. In fact, I don't think we're going to have the yen and the US dollar and the pesos and all that. I think it's just going to be crypto. Um, and I, I have different things that I, I think about that caused me to think that just like in the future, I don't think that there'll be any specific race. There won't be white. There won't be black. There won't be Mexican. We're all just going to be human, you know, which is the way I look at things now anyways. So with me, I'm, I'm looking at this Bitcoin crash and I'm looking at it as an opportunity to, to add here because I know that eventually even China will get over this and things will go back up. So we're going to take a, a look at the chart for um, a, a few different cryptos. Um, but one thing I, I want to remind everybody is if you like this video, please hit the like button so that my video gets posted out there more by YouTube. Um, also, if you want to see new updates, I do updates at least, at least four or five times a week on different stocks such as Roku, Neo, um, CRISPR, BNGO, SNDL, ADER, um, just so on and so on. So anyways, um, hit the like button if you like it, um, subscribe if you want to see more updates, and also I have a free Discord that I'm inviting everybody to join. Um, like I said, it's completely free. It, it's we, we mainly talk about option strategies and that kind of thing in there, um, but we call out plays for everything, not, not just options, but we, we also help um, young traders learn to trade options and learn the best strategies to, to keep trading safe. Um, but anyways, we'll take a look at the chart real quick here. Um, and by the way, I'll put that link in the comments. It'll be the very first link to a Discord in the comments. The name of the Discord is called Pro Option Calls. So feel free to click that link if you'd like to join the, the Discord also. But let's take a look at the chart real quick and go over a few things. Okay, so here we have the chart for Dogecoin. And you can see I have some fib lines on here. So if we just take a look at these fib lines, we have came down and we tapped this 0% fib line a couple of times down here. Um, we hit it here, we bounced, we hit it here, we bounced. Now we do have some support with Doge around the um, 20 cent area, which would be kind of, it's, it's kind of right where it's sitting at right now, just kind of right in here. Seems like every time it hits 20 cents, we, we get a little bounce there. However, I'm looking for a little more drop before I add to my position with this. I'd like to see it come down here to the 16 and a half to 17 cent area. And I think that if we hit that point, I think we're going to get a very strong bounce. And even if it doesn't happen immediately, that's still a great area to buy into. Um, if we go and we look at Ethereum, Okay, Ethereum is actually holding up pretty well. You see this big drop right here when when China announced this overnight, and we bounced off that EMA. Now we're coming back down and we're sitting back on it. So I think worst case scenario, we come down to around the 24, 2500 area um, with Ethereum, but I, I definitely think that um, Ethereum will be a good one to go into even at this price. I mean, I know it's it's possible that it drops more, but this is a great price on it, in my opinion. Um, I see this going very high, probably higher than Bitcoin is. Now that'll be years to come. You know, this 
I'm, I'm referring to a long-term hold. Um, but that's how I feel about that. And Bitcoin, we have broke this EMA, but we're sitting on the 100% Fib line right here. Now this one, Bitcoin, in my opinion, still has quite a bit of room to come down. So um, be careful taking another entry on this one. If I was to jump into this, I would definitely want to get it at kind of a, a lower level, maybe this this 35,000 area, possibly. I'd watch to see if that holds. If not, let it come on down to the 31.6 area. You see we have good support there. And if that doesn't want to hold, I mean, if you could get Bitcoin at 2,900, wow. I mean, or I'm sorry, 29,000, that's a great buy in my opinion because this will come back up, but you have to look at it as a long-term hold. It's not something that's going to happen this year, I don't even think. But in the next couple of years, I mean, we could see all these cryptos 10 times. You know, um, they could grow by, by 10 times is what I'm referring to. So in my opinion, you know, definitely um, be watching these for a good entry point because they will recover. They will. Now, it, it's not something that I would be day trading or anything like that. I, I would definitely be investing in this. It, for, for the long-term future because right now it's still early I mean uh, most people you know they don't use Bitcoin they don't have Bitcoin wallets that will all change in the future so this is definitely something that I, I feel is a great opportunity to take a long-term investment in something that's going to be huge in the future so anyways guys that's all I have right now I want to keep the video short again please like and subscribe um, the video and subscribe to my channel and also remember that I'm putting a link to my free discord in the comment section so um, it's called grow option calls so look for that link and we'd, we'd love to see you over at the discord where we just talk chat hang out and trade live together all day anyways thanks for watching have a great trading day